was back in 2006, and we had was a visit, and it was, was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we came actually about my niece and one. people who may be um, coming in, but I don't want us to wait any longer. We have a fabulous program this afternoon. And uh, how many of you are Bowers members? Oh, wonderful. Then you heard about it in either the newsletter or our website or <coughs> Facebook. We are trying to find out how our audiences are hearing about our programs. For those, the members, did you see it in the newsletter? And the email, e the website? Okay. When we ask this, is we get such a variety of responses. We just want to make sure that we let everyone know about what we're doing. Um, and especially this afternoon, um, in conjunction with our amazing Secrets of the Silk Road exhibition, we've been very fortunate to schedule many different programs, from lectures to dance to performance. And this afternoon, we're delighted to have this program that's sponsored by our very dear Persian Arts Council. Um, we, I've wanted to have this program for a long time, and I'm really pleased that today is the day. Um, and I, I won't say too much about the program, I just want to welcome you so much. I want to introduce you to Mariam Malavi. She is the leading force behind our Persian Cultural Arts Council. I urge you to learn more about this council because it's very, very important to the Bowers Museum. And without them, we wouldn't have the support of these kinds of programs. So please join me in welcoming Miriam. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome. I just greeted everybody in Persian also. We're very happy to see you this afternoon, and we're very happy to be able to be in such a wonderful museum to be able to bring to you uh, some awareness and education on the culture that we came from. Um, you probably saw a number of our good artists outside as you were walking towards the auditorium. Um, I would encourage you to spend a few minutes and actually look at their art. Um, we are all volunteers and we work with the museum just to bring in these sorts of programs. So I would appreciate it if you could support them in any way that you can and look at their beautiful art. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Gila Hakimi are uh, the two artists that have been working with the council ever since we formed the council back in 2006. And most of their art is inspired by the um, culture of Iran and the history and uh, everything is inspired by what they see that the museum is um, bringing, what the lecture is all about or what the exhibits are all about, and they would you know, get inspired and do something about that. So please take a visit at them. The other lady is Mrs. Badri Borbe. She's a famous miniaturist uh, within the Iranian community. Her book is excellent. It's both in Persian and English. It talks about all the cultural uh, habits and festivities that we've had for centuries, and it's a wonderful book. Please look at that. And of course, miniature painting got to Iran from China through the Silk Road. So that's another interesting bit of information. Um, Mr. Amini Assam has also been a very wonderful um, patron of the um, history of Iran. For so many years, we have seen his CDs, books, posters. So please take a visit and look at, look at his art, too. 
Uh, on our membership table, here's the membership for some of you, particularly uh, from the Iranian community. Please take a look, and I encourage you to please become members of the museum and support this program. If you like these sorts of programmings, please support the program. And last but not least, here's the uh, synopsis of the discussion for today that Dr. Daryoyi very nicely, along with uh, Dr. Khodadad Rezahani and Matteo Comparetti uh, from Italy, they put together this booklet, which is again great. It's available for $5, and that would be a great help if you could also purchase that. So without any further ado, I would also like to um, introduce you to another wonderful master musician within the Iranian community. He plays the violin. His name is Ali Reza Khadami. Uh, he started his violin lessons at the age of 15 with uh, Master Baharlu in Iran. And uh, he was awarded the title of the best violin performer and the National High School Arts at the National Ar High School Arts Competition. Uh, he became the conductor of the orchestra and a soloist in uh, Talar -e Farhang for the Iranians who would remember 30 years ago one of our best um, auditoriums and uh, like an opera house, let's say. And um, he uh, migrated, and, and his, his background in education is actually in, um, he has a BS in management and accounting, but at the same time he's a great artist. Um, he immigrated to Europe and founded the Mahur Center for arts and culture, and uh, he has been active uh, ever since he immigrated to the United States. Um, Mr. Khadami is a master musician in violin, and we are so honored to have him here to open the program for this wonderful discussion this afternoon. So uh, thank you again for coming, and let's hear it from Mr. Khadami. <laughs> 